What up nerds, my name is Colin Mr. Surreal Eyes Keith and today we're going to be making the LED heart PCB. We'll start by launching Eagle, we can go to file, new schematic, turn the grid on and the LED heart is going to be running off the ATtiny84 microcontroller. So we can go select it, there's this variant or this variant that we can use, the other two are service mount. We're going to be using this one because it comes with a dip socket. This one you'd have to essentially solder it straight to the board. So we'll use this one so we can pull it out and program it using our AVR programmer. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to connect our power source. So we can add ground first. Let's go ahead and add our battery. Coin cell, 20 millimeter. And we're going to use the through hole one. Let's copy the ground over. And we're going to want to turn our heart on and off. So we're going to add a switch. And this switch we're going to add is a single pole double throw, and it's this surface mount one. Right angle, 300 milliamp. I want to flip it over, just because the way I want to connect it later will be like this, and then make the appropriate connections. I'm going to go ahead and save, I guess. I accidentally clicked the save. So we're going to have 10 LEDs, and the ones we're going to use are all of them except for the reset pin. And I'm going to add a label to them. And I'm going to name them in an interesting order, but this is the order that I'm using. It's just the position of the pin relative to where the LEDs place makes it easier, as will be apparent when we route on the board. Oh, whoops, sorry, there was 12. Skip that one. Name this one LED 8. Let's go ahead and box this guy up. Good. Let's go ahead and add a text description called 8084. Make it big. Finally, we'll add the main attraction, the LEDs, so we can add LED. We're going to want to pick one of the through-hole ones. doesn't really matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick blue, but you can pick any color or combination of colors you want. And then we're going to add a resistor. Again, same with the resistor value. It can really be anything. I'm going to add a 10K resistor with 4 millimeter length, 2 millimeter width, and 7 millimeter lead spacing. Change style continuous net. And we're going to want a label, not that size though. And we'll name this one LED1. And we're going to copy paste this 10 times. All right, and then we're going to need a ground for all of these. And we'll just connect them all like this. It's going to ask us to rename it a dozen times. And we're going to say, yeah. Box this guy up. Good. I'm going to copy the label and we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it LED Array. Of course, we need to name all our LEDs their appropriate names. And the name doesn't really matter, like which one is which. It just matters when we actually place the LEDs. And that's why they're kind of in a weird order here. All right, so this finishes the schematic. Next thing we're going to do is you guys are going to go back to the instructions and you guys are going to pick out your heart or star or whatever design you want. Try and keep the images simple. And then you guys are going to create the DXF in Inkscape that we're going to import for our board. When you're done with that, we'll come back here and we'll continue with the board. 